Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, we are going to explore how to automate Slack notification with GitHub Actions. Okay, that is for example, we are having a developer who have pushed or committed some code in a particular Git repository. We want to write such GitHub Action using which in a YML file we can configure that in which channel we should be sending the notification. And as soon as this kind of event occurs in Git repository automatically using github action in that particular slack channel the notification should go that code is pushed in this particular repo or committed in this repo like that notification functionality we want to implement using slack and github action so how to do that on that we are going to explore today in this video okay so for this particular purpose there is one github action already developed and that is slack github action we can reutilize that for solving our requirement okay so if you scroll below in the readme section you can get the complete documentation link here we are going to utilize the power of webhook what is webhook on that i have already discussed in my previous videos i'll be providing the link in the description box you can go through that to understand in detail about it okay so here we are going to follow this technique number three that is slack incoming webhook Basically, webhook is nothing but one URL we will be configuring in GitHub Action. That way, whenever something will occur in our GitHub repository, it will push that event to that particular URL. Basically, kind of a post request it will make using that particular endpoint. And that endpoint will publish the message in the Slack channel. Okay, that's all it will do. And here is a sample code it has given. So here we need to utilize this particular step that is slack api slash slack hyphen github hyphen action at the rate this one and then with within with we can mention the payload whatever message we want to publish in the slack channel and here in the environmental variable we have to configure this slack webhook url using which github action will make the post request okay now they are putting this particular url in the secret because it is kind of a private information if it is kept simply in the code then it can be misutilized so for that safety purpose it is kept in github secrets anyway that does not matter much i have already explained how to keep any particular value in github secret and utilize that in github action yaml file right so basically this is the main steps what we can reutilize in our code so for that what we will do first we will be first creating one workspace and we will be configuring our incoming webhook for our slack channel and then we will put that same in github action code and we will see whether whenever we are doing some push activity in github repository whether in the slack channel automatically the messages are coming or not okay so as a first step what we are going to do we are going to create a workspace so here i will open this in a new tab the link i will be providing in the description box so here I am basically logged in with my email ID and here I will click on create workspace and here I will create a workspace. Okay. So here demo yt slack channel github action some name I have given right and I can click on next profile photo as of now let it be next and here. I can skip this particular step as of now and here it is asking what's your team working on right now so here i can write github action testing something like that and i can click on next and with this our workspace is ready right now here if you see github action testing random general these kind of channels are getting created now what we need to do we need to make sure that in this particular channel the webhook should be configured using which we can publish messages in these kind of channels right so for configuring webhook we can use this particular url so let me first save my workspace name and i will go to this url for creating webhook okay so here i can create a new app first and from scratch i can choose app name demo yt git action this is one and the workspace just now what i created that one i'll be choosing that is basically this particular one and i'll create this app okay so as soon as we have created the app here you will be getting an option of incoming webhook okay click on that and here i need to activate this one and here you will be getting an option to add new webhook to the workspace so i will click on add and here channel in which channel the webhook should publish the message that we need to configure so here let's consider that in this particular channel only we want to publish the webhook messages okay so here i can choose github action testing this particular one and i can click on allow 
right so now it is ready with respect to configuration and here you are getting your wefo url i can copy that from here also not a problem and now let's go to our github action all we can do is in this slack wefo url we can paste the url link whatever just now we have created okay and let me go through the code so first the workflow name slack github action on push event that is whenever some push activity will occur in our this particular repository that time this particular workflow should run and the job name here i can write slack notifier something like that it should run on ubuntu machine and the name in this step here we have given send notification on slack using oevu and here in the users section we have configured the step what github action will be utilizing to publish the message using this particular oevu right so here this code is developed by someone else we are just reutilizing that for our purpose and what message we want to publish that we can write in this payload section in the text part so here i can write something like that git push done in the repo and here i can give my repository name suppose i want to monitor this particular repository whenever git push will happen that time we want to publish the notification in slack channel so this is our repository name so this is the message we want to publish that we have configured in the text part okay so with this pretty much our code is ready this is our github action code so what i can do i can go to my repository within workflow i can enter and here in one yaml file maybe i can update so here i can update this one and here i have provided my latest code so here it is throwing some red color mark that means there is some issue let's see slack wave of url so here i should be giving one space and yeah the issue is gone so you have to make sure in between slack wave of url and the original url there is some space and this is our pretty much code so what i can do i can commit these changes and here i can give uh, the commit message as updated the slack notification something like that and i can commit this okay so this is one kind of push event so what we can do we can go to actions here this is older code it is showing and this is our latest code actually so here if you see that slack github action this is running let's go inside that here slack notifier job is running and the job is successful this is our main step here you can see no error we have encountered so let's see whether in slack channel the message got published or not so here basically this is our slack channel and here you can see that git push done in this repo this one that this message came okay right so let's now see whether if we are doing some file upload it is able to notify automatically in the slack channel or not so here i can opt for choose your file and here i can choose one particular csv file like hrc color and then i can upload this one and here i can comment the changes as soon as we are doing comic it is kind of a push activity so here automatically our github action should start here if you see that our job is started and here it is basically currently in this step to send notification and it is done let's go back to our slack channel see another new message just now came at 6:52 pm okay currently it is 6:52 pm only and the message is git push is done in this repository this one right so i hope you understood basically this particular pipeline is automatically publishing the github push notification in this particular slack channel and all we are doing is nothing but reutilizing this particular step obviously you can explore the github documentation to explore more about this particular function this is all for my this video i hope this particular github action will be helpful in your project also because many companies try to follow this kind of practices that whenever some activity occur in github system they want to publish those information in slack channel to make everyone aware in real time this is a kind of a common pattern and that's all i wanted to discuss as part of this video if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos thank you for watching